Welcome, lovely people. Today I need to do my intro this way because something was drastically wrong with my microphone at the very beginning of this recording and I'm hoping it's not something that becomes uh, common all the way through but we'll find out as I continue to edit. For those of you who don't know, I have wanted to play a run through of DC from scratch without access to anything that I have purchased or um, unlocked with other characters and to see kind of how long I'll last before I need to put money in for the gameplay to be comfortable. I'm hoping I can last quite some time, maybe indefinitely, but I guess we will find out. Uh, so today I have started creating a character from scratch. And I thought since I have an Xbox account and I have Switch UK and Switch US and I have a PlayStation UK, why not have a PlayStation US so I can play anywhere I like? So <laughs> let's start with character creation here. Um, I have tried to avoid watching things that have character creation occurring in it because um, I know that they have changed it from the last time that I created a character. So I really want to see what that is like. Oh, it looks very, very different. <laughs> so we're going to have a look at the character creation section today now that has been updated. You've got a preset list. I think, oh, that that's certainly interesting. There was, um, I think, already kind of a preset list, but I don't think you accessed it this way. It was a little bit different. I'm, I'm not sure. This is looking very different from what I remember. I will not do a preset one because... Unlike a lot of players, I'm not trying to create a character who already exists. I like to create my own character that, I don't know, suits me, I suppose. Well, that is very, very green for Ivy. Oh, Martian Manhunter. Cool. Martian Manhunter is one of my favorite DC characters. Not that I am very well informed on a lot of things, but Martian Manhunter, just to me, kind of seems like he can do anything. <laughs> I might be wrong about that. But it's kind of like Superman, you know? He can kind of do anything. They had to create some kind of stone that makes it so that he grows weak. It's like the only weakness he has. Martian Manhunter doesn't have that weakness. <laughs> oh, Bane. He looks so cool. Oh, he looks very grumpy. Deathstroke. Oh, these ones cost, apparently. Looks like you need to pay for these ones. This kind of seems upgraded as well, the um, definition for what I'm looking at here. Also, Sinestro, does he not have a beard? He has been portrayed both with and without a beard, but almost always with a moustache. Am I remembering that wrong? I probably am. I'm sure. Wow, there are a lot of presets. I wonder if this is new that there are this many presets. Oh, damn it. This is the outfit that I like, but not in this color. That outfit and that hair. I have noticed in my gameplay recently that my biker gloves seem to have disappeared. Is biker gloves no longer a thing? Has something happened? Because every time I go to change the outfit on my characters, biker is always the one I start with when I make my own custom character, which means I unlock it on every single one of them. And now I can't find it. Has it changed name? Has it gone? I like those gloves. They're like my actual real life gloves that I'm not wearing right now, but... I, I like that they um similar to me. So let's customize a character. Female, yes please. Body type, we're going to go middle of the range, athletic. Oh, we already did female, thank you. Body height, we'll do medium again, middle of the range. Alignment, do we want to be a hero or do we want to be a villain? I'm going to stick with hero, I think. There are two stances that I like in here, and they are powerful and flirty. I don't like serious very much because it looks like she's got some kind of issue going on, like she's very upset. I don't like primal because of the way she squats down. And I do actually kind of like comical, but I don't think it really suits me. Um, you can disagree with that if you like. I prefer flirty, but it's because she looks comfortable. Like she's like, oh yeah, just chilling. Powerful looks like she's intentionally putting herself in that stance. It doesn't look comfortable to me. So I usually go with flirty. Superman meta origin. No, thank you. We want Batman because he wears black. And that's the only reason. Our ability is going to be fire. 
because we're starting from scratch on something that I know well. I'm sure I will create other characters with you that are not fire, but this is where we're starting. Weapon. Now, I love the bow and I love the blasters. They are my favorites. Um, oh, the shield there. Let's find our blasters. Where are they? Brawling, dual pistol, blow. Oh, it's immediately following the bow. I am awake. Now, I realize this kind of negates me from being able to have a style with it, which is why I sometimes like the bow. And the reason I like these two is the speed with which they can do an attack at a distance. I find that very helpful. Um, I don't know if that's ideal or anything like that, but this is just what I prefer. And even though I do usually go with hand blast, I think I'm going to go with the bow this time, just so that we have a weapon that we can choose a style for. All right, and then I'm going to keep super speed. At the moment, super speed is my favorite. I, I, that's actually very surprising to me. I hated it to start with. I was playing on Switch to start with though, so the screen was a lot smaller because I was using it as a handheld. And I found it really irritating. I didn't like it. My favorite was acrobatics. But now I have become used to super speed so much, especially when I'm playing a damage, that I find it the most useful. And I really use Whirling Dervish quite a lot as well. Sometimes I've used Dash Attack, and that's only available if I'm choosing Super Speed. So we're going to go with Super Speed. Let's go to Appearance. We're going to get Costume, Skin. Human One is always what I choose because I feel like her face is as similar to mine as it can get on here. We're going to do Hair. Now I'm going to do Long because that is the closest to mine. But once we get in there, I am going to as soon as I can, um, where it's a little feasible, because obviously source marks can be used for quite a lot of things. But I would like to swap my hair over to botanical because that is the most close to what I currently actually have. And I quite like for my character to look kind of like me. So we're going to stick with long for the moment though. All right, so let's go to head. Now, the thing with this is I don't like to have something on my head. I like to see my character's face. So I tend not to put a helmet on or anything on her face. If I do put something on her head, it's usually something small that you can't see over her face. There's a couple. I can't remember the names of them off the top of my head, but there's some items you can get that go like around the back of your head or like a crown that goes around and up the sides. Those are the sorts of things I would choose. There is an exception to this rule. In fact, there are probably a few <laughs> exceptions to this rule, but specifically the Pied Piper hood. I love that thing and it covers her entire face. However, in here there are some hoods, which I don't mind. And I tend to, even though I won't use it on the character long-term, I tend to use the ruined hood. There you are, ruined hood. So that's what I tend to get. And then as soon as I'm in the game, I immediately remove it. But it means that it's one less clothing item that I need to unlock through gameplay. So I will pick something even if I'm not going to use it. Now here I use always emissive eyes, this here, because I think they look amazing. And sometimes I remove them. I must admit, in most cases, I keep emissive eyes on all my villains and remove them from my heroes. And that way I remember whether I'm playing a villain or a hero at the time. That sounds kind of silly, but it works for me. Okay, so now we're going to do the emblem. I actually don't like using emblems much, but I do want to unlock one from the beginning. So I will choose one at the start and I use usually choose uh, Royal Wings, I think it's called, because if I had to pick one, that's the one I like the most. I think it kind of looks cool. There we go, the wings but I will remove it the second I'm in gameplay. Only reason I get it here is so that I have one unlocked. So it's one less thing to unlock in the game. And we're gonna go chest now. I really like the battle mage um, and I like, I think it's called urban something. So let's go down here and find urban slick. There it is. So urban slick is one I really, really like because it looks almost kind of like a corset, but with the long sleeves. So that's one of my favorites and then Battle Mage is my other favorite, which is up here. And I think I'm going to go with Battle Mage for this one. See, I like the texture of this one. I think it looks really cool. Let's um, do her back. Now, I tend to, even though I choose super speed, I like the way the wings look. So my microphone decided to have a little bit of a fit. So basically, all I'm saying in this section is that um, I really like the wings, even though I choose super speed. And so I want super speed and I want the wings. So I'm going to have both, whether it makes sense or not. And I also chose the biker gloves, which are there. 
and I'm wondering if I have just made some kind of mistake because I always choose biker gloves for my original uh, build of any character as far as I know. So unless I haven't done that one time and I've mixed myself up, um, my biker gloves seem to have disappeared on one of my main characters. So I'll have to look into that. But worst comes to worst, they clearly still exist because I can find them here. I just need to go to um, the watchtower and buy them instead. I like how they look because they look like my own gloves. So anyway, waist, I think I choose death something. Yeah, death's head. That's the one with the skull because it's cool. And it reminds me the most of the main man one, which is my absolute favorite, which I am definitely going to have to get in this game. So there's a whole bunch of things I'm going to have to try to get because I'm starting from scratch with no access to anything from my other characters because this is a new account. Let's go to legs. Now we're going to hit battle mage as well, but I will show you what I normally choose if I get the urban slick top. I usually go with parliamentary, this one, which is a little silly because you literally get a box of armor from... Steve Trevor, I believe, that has all parliamentary style in it. So I would get this and then I would lose out on getting that free item of style collection. But because I'm doing Battle Mage this time, I will scroll back up and we will pop Battle Mage on so that we match because matching is awesome. All right, let's go to feet. My favorite in here, uh, I think down the bottom, Urban Slick. Yeah, these are my favorite boots as well. They're so cool. Not as cool as some of the other ones you can get. So the two boots that I like that I'll have to get in game are Apocalyptian is one of them. And um, the ones you can get from Death Metal that have like the bat symbol on the side of them. They look super cool. Anyway, that's our parents. Now, uh, color changes? Oh, right below that. I, I saw that. I don't know why you would think not. So usually, oh, oh, this is so different. I miss my sliding bars. Are they still available? So I am quite pale. So I like to make my character look like me. So she's going to be quite pale. Oh, I hate that. The sliders are gone. I'm going to have to go in and adjust that slightly because um, I think she's a little too, too pale. Can you be too pale? Like that's too pale there really, isn't it? <laughs> Medium warm is not pale but at least her skin tone is closer to mine now. Hair, now this is something I don't do correctly. Um, I choose black and my hair is brownie red color. It looks mostly brown when I'm sitting here in front of the light, but I choose black on my characters because I used to dye my hair black all of the time and I really like it. The only reason I don't now is a couple of reasons actually. One, I can't be bothered maintaining it. And two, it was kind of doing harm to my hair. So I picked the color that I would have if I could be bothered and if it wasn't harming me. And I realize you can't see it in character selection here. You would just remove the ruined hood, choose your hair color and then put the ruined hood back on. But because I know I'm going to stick with black, we'll just go with black. So my eyes are blue, but I have been told they look gray on camera and sometimes in real life also. But because they are actually blue, we're going to pick a blue. <laughs> makeup. Uh, I don't... So the only makeup I wear is around my eyes and that's so that I look awake. Because if I don't have it, people are like, are you okay? Yes, I'm fine, but don't have makeup on. So eyeliner and mascara is all I do. <laughs> it's really all I know how to do. So uh, makeup that changes lip color is not something I um, would do or am interested in. Kind of want to just go black because then I don't really have to think about it, right? Let's go black. All right, suit palette. That's an interesting, oh no, I have no sliders. I need to use my sliders to get my color correct. Oh, I'm sad about this. So when I choose colors for my characters, I want to choose for the first slot a color that goes along with either her ability or her style so that it is going to um, bring up the hard light shield if you're wanting to use that in a color that matches. If you put like a black or a white at the start, the shield is going to come up black or white. And I always use black in my palette. So um, actually that's not quite true. I have a couple that have white instead. But um, I like to have a colored hard light shield come up rather than black or white. So I will pick my first color based on that and I'm going to, I can't decide actually, if I'm going to do red with, I always do black for my second one 
And then my third one, I tend to choose a lighter color to go with the darker um, original color, which in this case here is red, or I'll choose something that contrasts well, like maybe a gold, but I don't like the colors they have here. I want my sliders. So maybe I could use that skin tone one there. That's kind of brown. I don't like that. Now, the other thing I will do maybe rather than choosing a color base that goes with my ability, I will sometimes choose purple because purple is my absolute favorite color. And whether it goes with the ability that she has or not, I just love it. So I will put the darkest purple. This is not usually how I did it though, because obviously this has all changed. I used to use the sliders that they had, but I will choose darkest purple for my first color because I like my hard light shield to come out that color. I will choose black on my second. I always put black on my second at the moment. And then I'll choose a lighter purple or even sometimes I've done pink to go along with that. Um, and I'm thinking this is what we're going to go with because she looks creepy, kind of. I, I kind of love it, which is funny because I'm pretty sure I chose her to be a hero. Yeah, just because I think other people online tend to play heroes more so than villains. So I'm going to create a hero so that I can involve myself in more things as we play. So this is what she's going to look like when we get in there. But I will immediately likely remove her hood and maybe her... Uh, emissive eyes since she is a hero let's go to play we need to do a name so I wonder if that girl from AU is taken find out in a second let's find out <gasps> nobody has my name oh, I'm so happy right now I'm really sorry about the microphone popping and I anticipate there will likely be a few more that come up because it's happening uh, every few minutes with the microphone. Um, I've been able to cut quite a bit of it. Let's hope it just doesn't go over anything that's really important. But I can always cut in like I am right now and tell you what I was saying so that we don't have to deal with that sound. All right. Well, let's get her into gameplay. Earth. The center of the multiverse. It will belong to Brainiac. I didn't plan an invasion, rather an assimilation. I have identified key junctions in Earth's vast nexus of knowledge. These are I feel like I have to change these digitized. settings quite drastically. I can't hear the voice well over the top of the background noise, the effects volume. So I might have of to go course, in and adjust that the second we get it because may be captured as well. it's difficult to hear him. Difficult for me, but not for you. This will be sorted and purged once the digitizing is complete. Earth's resistance does not concern me. This makes the situation seem so much more dire when you're watching it with sound on. There is no digitizer. This planet and all it contains will be mine. Joker's laugh was pretty Intriguing. epic. There is an anomaly in Earth's atmosphere. Beginning analysis. Is it me? These exobytes oh, me. are my own it's technology, exobytes. each one holding unknown stores of digitized power from Earth's future. My harvester ships will simply reclaim the data provided by these exobytes. That's exciting. And see Earth's fate. Is it weird that some of the text there looks like the Superman symbol, except with an eight in the middle instead of an S? This is a new obstacle. What These is? humans resist my assimilation. Darn right we do. Version. <laughs> Woohoo! Oh, so we're supposed to be one of these guys, right? You can tell I haven't really paid attention to this intro before. So it seems like we are supposed to be one of these humans that has resisted and we've ended up somehow with fire powers. I'm okay with that. <laughs> and the music makes everything seem very dire. Thank you. I'm Superman. Hi, Superman. Off this ship. 
Are you? Thank you, so kind. What if I want to stay? We both are. Oh, Oracle? And that's Oracle. She's ah. going to help us navigate through Brainiac's defenses. All right. Be on your toes for Brainiac's sentries. All right, so now we're getting uh, instructions on how to play the game. Thank you, very helpful. Um, I'm going to do, oh, here we go. So I forgot that I'm going to get all of these. Going to, it's going to explain to me how to do everything. But we'll jump into style and do exactly what I said, which is remove these things that I don't want. Ah, much better. Oh, and now we should have sliders available, right? So I can do a little bit of tweaking. You can't see it very well in here though. Oh my goodness, I look green. It's probably the lighting of the area, but let's go in and fix my skin color to what I would normally make, which is slightly more pink than this and a little darker. There we go. Not that you can see it in here, but I do feel a little bit better. Let's speak with Superman. Oh, I forgot. I'm going to have that. You're going to need to smash your way through. That's fine. Um, I'm going to have that electrical thing behind me until I can get another movement. Which I don't want to pay for in this one. I'm trying to do everything through gameplay. I'm going to have to wait until the next Extra Life event. I started this too late. What was I thinking? You've attracted some attention. Sentries are headed your way. I always attract attention? Actually, that's like the opposite of true. Stop the human. Here they come. Get ready for a fight. I like the way my bow sounds. All right, now I will just adjust the sound a bit here because the volume of the background stuff is too loud for me. Yeah, here we go. So effects, music can come down as well, but I want to be able to hear the movie and uh, voices and we'll keep the subtitles on. I usually play with the subtitles only anyway, but we'll go with this. Must admit, it's kind of nice to be playing on my PlayStation. I like the controller better for my hands. It's um, a little smaller than an Xbox controller and it's slightly more comfortable in that way. But also the joysticks being side by side instead of asymmetrical is more comfortable for my hands also. Oh, that's fun. <laughs> we need to remember on our way through to destroy all of the um, health barrels. I th I'm not sure if that's exactly what they're called, but we need to remember to destroy, destroy, ah, I can speak. We need to remember to destroy all of those because we get a feat for those and now I will have to build myself up to that feat all over again. Looks like there's a way out above you. Can you get up there? This looks different. Is this different? Uh, yes, it's very different. Or is this the same? It has been a while since I've done this, I must admit. But, I don't know. It looks a little different to me. Oh, you know what? It's just too much purple. I understand that this is stupid to have to do this part way through, but it's just the position of the colors is wrong for me. Oh, thank you. <laughs> you will not survive. Ooh, you get to jump in. This seems different. I I might be wrong, but it's been such a long time. Uh oh, trouble. really weird playing something and not really worrying about my health bar at all. Ooh, Superman's not the only one with powers. 
L2 and square to detonate. Cool, I'm good with that. But um, it is in the wrong position for where I use it, so let's just adjust the loadouts. This is the thing, I have a tendency to use these in the incorrect positions compared to other people apparently. I Anything that's like shooting towards something or ranged, I tend to put here, and at the moment that's kind of that. So let's use it. Bad news. We're gonna have to cut through the AI core to get to the exit. Expect oh no! Alright. Overseer? Brainiac's not messing around. Yay! Five restoration barrels. One feet. Is that our first feet of the game? This will be my doom, shall it? Oh right, we're gonna block. Okay. Thank you for the instructions. Appreciate it. Seems so simple. This is good. It says super speed mode, hold it down, but all that does is make me speed without having to hold the uh, joystick. I miss actual super speed mode. Sorry, I'm missing part of the cutscene because I was coughing. If we destroy it, we can bring this whole ship down. More of the justice We are the Borg. Oh, I mean, that's, correct me if I'm wrong, but the rings that these guys get, right, are supposed to be able to do anything you can imagine. You imagine an anvil? Am I wrong about this? Is that not how they work? So apparently the ring is a weapon capable of transforming the wearer's thoughts into physical constructs through the wearer's strength of willpower. Barrels, get all the barrels. Yay! I feel so slow. <laughs> Stop the human! Excuse me, I am a superhero. I'm about to become one. <laughs> I do think it is quite a good story premise. It makes sense as to why all these layers are now able to have characters with superhero powers. It's because of this storyline. It works. I'm all right with it. Why can I still not hear what they say? Are they considered voice or are they in effect? All right, let's see if that helps me out a little bit. Brainiac Overseer. Oh, now I can understand you. Gathering reinforcements. Okay. My music was way too loud. That happens in so many movies as well. And I can't fix that very easily. Got the barrels. Sorry, I meant to be attacking you. My bad. Yay, reinforcements incoming. More for us to attack. That sounded quite painful, Superman. Are you okay? Maybe he had a little bit of kryptonite. We need to stop this ship from abducting anyone else. This also seems different. Is this different? Yes, it's different. Everything is different. Stop asking me. Okay. Deactivate that shielding. Use the terminal. Oh, 
See, her aim is terrible. This is why we shoot. Alright, I am moving! Brace so yourself. bossy. JL's engaged Brainiac in the hangar. Okay. He's breaking through my seals. Oh, we've got flashpoint? I have your back. Wonder Woman? We've got this. Flashpoint we have. Yay. Put them in the order that I like, which is apparently wrong. Oh. I didn't get to attack those, they just exploded right in front of me. This looks different too. We know. Is that room gone where you've got like the huge army of uh, enemies on either side coming events. in in different intervals? Nothing can escape the control of Brainiac. Focus on okay. Brainiac. I'll secure the teleporter. Sure, Attack. no problem. Attack acknowledged. Ah. Further analysis required. So used to having power. <laughs> it's weird having my abilities um take so long for me to be able to use them again. Oh, poor thing. Recalibrating defenses. Tactics insufficient. Your tactics or my tactics? Because if you're trying to insult me, you did. <laughs> Activating subroutines. I would like to know why is he telling me everything that he's doing? Isn't that a disadvantage to him trying to attack me if I know everything he's doing? For I wear many shells. I am the source. Congratulations. You must be if so proud. If you're interested in joining the fight for justice, the League would be happy to teach you. <laughs> Thank you. Yes, yes, Barrels. Yes. Teleporters unlocked. Your pal Oracle's always got your back. Okay, this was clearly different from the last time I did the tutorial. And it was Good, fun. You're here. Good to see you. Thanks for the backup. Uh, I wouldn't go too long. The ship is coming down. We have our remotes wheel. Bow. Let's get out of here. That was fun. That was different from the last time I played the tutorial. I enjoyed that, actually. And it didn't seem to be quite as monotonous, which is nice. Oh. Ooh. Movie clip. Our every tactic failed. Oh. Brainiac came to Earth to destroy it. I feel like it's a good thing that it and failed. Then, a oh, no. dying version of Earth's greatest villain brought us a weapon from the future, stolen from Brainiac himself. Okay, bad, bad that it failed. I thought we were looking at this from Bra Brainiac's perspective for a second there. So when we gain superpowers, our clothes change to match them apparently. Alright, we have a nice cape to put on. Fantastic. We have a rewards box here. Let's open that. We accidentally opened daily. We're going to do the daily as well. Granted item menu. <gasps> I haven't missed out. Does it have, does it have the <gasps> sparkle trail? Oh, thank you very much. Okay, let's collect all of these. I thought these were gone. All right, so we're going to start out with a slight advantage on some things here. We're going to have a pet. We're going to have some style options. Henchman potential. No, henchman I'd have to unlock at my base. Pet, I don't. Space base hideout, gamer emote, charity wings emblem. Oh, the postcards. Yay, pet! Oh, I'm so happy I didn't miss out on these. 
I really thought I would. I can get the sparkle movement. Oh, all right, people. Let's do a couple of things to start. Let's collect all of these items. So that's good for you. If you're wanting to start from scratch on an account right now, good time to do it. You will start out with some very helpful bits and pieces. Henchman doctors, you can go down here. We will collect our furniture items, thank you. And our emote. Base we can't collect yet. We also can't collect the daily reward armor set yet, but we can pop a pet in our belt. Yay, look, we have a pet from the very beginning. Isn't that exciting? Woohoo! Okay, we also have the postcards pack, so we'll collect all of that as well. Oh, and I absolutely forgot to put a lock on my styles. I am accidentally equipping things as I've uh, collected them, which I mean is good in some things. That aura is kind of looking cool with my wings. I wish I had the Halloween wings though, really, because um, the Halloween wings with the pastel chroma on it, where it makes the bones really stand out across the back of it, looks awesome. Love to start with that, but we don't have it. All right, we've collected all those items. I'm going to go into style. We're gonna put, is it, it's not lock, it's hold. Hold all, and we're gonna remove that accessory that's jumped on, because that's just irritating. All right, then we are going to do the thing you have to do when you start this game every single time, with every character, you want to go into your marketplace and you want to redeem claim and you're going to chuck in a couple of codes here. First is seize the throne. No spaces. I can spell. Seize the throne. Submit. Successfully claimed and we get the Atlantis giveaway very helpful. Next one you want to do is face your fear. Face your fear. Again, no spaces. Submit and you'll get an awesome chroma. It says chroma, but really it's kind of like a material. Anyway, so let's collect our chroma material. Let's open our Atlantis giveaway box. It's going to give us aura emblem and then a nice set of armor to start with which is beautiful so we're going to chuck all of that on i tend to open things i don't already have to start with because in my mind it makes me think i'm going to get things that are slightly higher level than what's there i'm probably wrong but i'm doing it anyway all right let's chuck that on some nice shoulder piece do we have legs we don't have legs so we'll put legs on beautiful head we don't have let's put that on it's nice you get a little start with a whole armor set i quite like that oh what increase on oh braces i didn't check if i had those already my bad chest i have back i have belt i have weapon i have mask i don't let's do the mask and the necklace first on beautiful necklace in fact, I could be doing it completely the wrong way and maybe I should be doing items I already have first. So they go higher than whatever level they are there. I don't know. Belt is going on. Back piece. Thank you. Boots. Chest. Now, the only thing we don't get here is rings and a utility belt obviously because that would be a little bit too much of an advantage to start your gameplay with done yay all right i'm happy with that now i'm going to jump into style dismiss yes we we i know how this works i say that but honestly i had no idea that the apply to all button was down there so clearly i've been paying attention oh that's why because once i scroll down it's not there you have to actually be settled up here to see apply to all I probably just didn't notice it. Forged metal chroma kind of makes a lot of sense with fire, so I'm wondering if maybe I should use that. But for the moment, I'm going to put the pastel on and see how it looks. Yeah, it's kind of cool. I tried a couple of things, but I settled on keeping my black and purple just because I love it so much. All right, so the auras that we now have access to should be, yeah, sea foam and falling feathers. I'm going to stick with falling feathers. Accessory 
The star crown is kind of cool on this hairstyle because you can't see the actual stars. So you see just like a subtle sparkle, which I quite like. So I'm going to put that on. I'm going to remove the emblem because I don't like those. I'm also going to check out what two weapon styles I have. Bow, simple bow. We'll stick with simple bow. Thank you. And we're going to also change this last color here to white as I usually do. And on my belt, I want the skull to be white. So we're going with that because I think that makes a little more sense. I'm also wondering if maybe on my chest and leg piece, I should get this last color white so that those little uh, studs stand out a bit more. Oop, wrong color. That's the one, right? Yeah, the studs looking white. All right, yep, I'm good with that. Boots, the colors are in the wrong order for me. We're going to have black as the main, dark purple, light purple. Gloves are fine. All right, this is how we're starting, people. Let's talk with Oracle. Good to meet you in the flesh. Thank you. Well, so to speak. Consider this league-friendly safe house a temporary place to repair your gear, check your mail, have a soda cola. Just don't wait too long before heading out the door. A lot of villains are taking advantage of the chaos Brainiac is causing to wreak their own havoc. And we Fair. need every cape we've got. Thanks, no problem. All right, we're going to collect all the briefings in here. Every time you start a new game, you were um, investigations, briefs, and collections provides great insights, and completing them nets you some pretty good rewards. Information brokering isn't such a bum deal, right? Right. Every time you come to um, a new character loading in, um, you will, depending on which, um, I don't know what to call it actually, mentor I think it is, you choose, you will end up at a different location to start. And Batman is my favorite mentor only because. He's kind of dark for a hero. Not saying um, you should never go on a Booster Gold <clears throat> tour, just that Booster Care is more about hearing himself talk than providing bounties offer great rewards. But be careful not to take them on by yourself. Teaming up is key when going after bigger targets. Obviously, that is why this is an MMO. <laughs> Here we go, get the other ones. Now, because I'm playing from scratch as well, this means I'm going to have... Check your mail at one of these mailboxes. Okay, look, I have to shut her up. Senders cautiously, but mail from famous heroes usually contains... This teleportation hub will allow quick transport between key locations, like other safe houses in Gotham City and Metropolis. Thank you. All right, so... Because I've started from scratch on a new account, I will have some disadvantages here. So... I have a very limited um, mailbox usage. I don't think I can send to other characters and I'm pretty sure people can't send to me either without a membership or without at least one purchase, but I do receive rewards through here. I also am now subject to cash and escrow, escrow separation. So escrow is all the money that will go kind of like into savings for you until you put money into this game. And the only cash you will have access to is the very upfront cash that you can see, hang on, we'll go into the menu, that you can see down the bottom here where it says cash. This is where you'll have access and it will only max out to 50,000 before it starts to filter into escrow. So what I am going to do in here is going to try and make use of that fact by every time I'm getting used to 50,000, go and buy, for example, over here, some styles. Get my style collection up, you know? So let's see how I can go with this because I, I did do it the very first time I played. I had to deal with um, the cash limitations and the mailbox limitations. Also storage uh, area is quite limited as well. And I'm, I don't really remember how well I did. I just remember after a while, it was quite a while, um, the escrow was frustrating me. So I put money into the game and purchased I think it was storage space at the time, but it is so long ago that I'm not actually 100% sure on that. So this is how I've started. All right, so that is my new character creation on the US server. I hope I got it right when I created the US account, but I think I did. I'm going to leave her here until next time.
Bye, guys.